not too long ago I went to England see my dad off before dad left us he passed on some of his gear to me and this was his last ever purchase he didn't use it too much unfortunately because he, uh, he got sick and didn't get much chance to use it but when he did use it he came to the conclusion that this was the best camera he'd ever owned let me tell you he's used and owned some absolutely beautiful cameras but this one in particular <laughs> it's a it's an absolute cracker so the backstory is a couple of years ago i had a fujifilm x100f dad was getting to a situation where he couldn't really carry his camera about because it was too heavy so he said oh lad he said I'd, I'd love one of them little fuji cameras like you've got so i boxed it up shipped it out to him and he loved it so much so in fact that he said yep i love the f but i tell you what <laughs> i'd sooner the newer version which at the time was the fujifilm x100v this is the first time i've had it out of the bag believe it or not i don't even know if there's any batteries charged I better check that but looking at the camera I mean anybody that knows anything about these Fujifilm cameras knows that this is an absolute beauty so let's just have a look through the kit and see what there is in here start off obviously first with the camera itself the Fujifilm X100V all these X100 cameras are virtually the same a little soft release button there see if he's left me a battery he has he's left me a battery in there but I'm guessing no, it's not working, so I better charge that up before I do anything else. What else has he got? Oh, he's got a foam grip as well, look. He's also put on an added grip there, which uh, just gives it a little bit more of a, a grip on the camera. So uh, I've not used one of those before, so that's, that's pretty cool. He's put some lugs on there for his camera strap. He's got a glasses case with a remote control. Okay, cheers, Dad. Various cloths and rags and, and cleaning stuff. A pair of binos. It's like a little reflector, I guess, or it's just something to lay his camera on as he's working around. Dad was incredibly proud of his gear. He looked after it so well. So much more than I ever look after my kit, that is for sure. We've got a little Nissy case. I'm guessing this is a filter system. Indeed it is. Oh, look at that. That is a lovely little filter holder. Look at them dinky little things. A few extra cards there. I'll tell you what, my dad, he doesn't do things by half. This is a flare hood. I'm guessing it's for this one. It is, but you've got to take off the outer ring, I believe try that does that fit on now possibly does it doesn't fit on like that so i wonder if it fits on some other some other how i don't know don't know how that works yet we'll come back to that more cleaning cloths man alive he's got more cleaning cloths than i've ever had in my entire life and he's even got i'm guessing this one's the uh, wide conversion lens that will take it from a 35 millimeter equivalent to a 28 millimeter i believe equivalent oh Jesus, Paul, this is why I shouldn't have things, not nice things anyway. Obviously, because he's got the wide conversion lens, he's got the teleconverter lens. And I think this one takes it from being a 35mm equivalent on the normal lens to a 50mm. More cleaning cloths, go figure. Oh, he's got a one pence piece. So that must be obviously for him using as a screwdriver to open the various keys and things. Let's have a look in the front pocket, see what he's got in here, if anything. Oh, cheers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers, Pop. Five extra batteries dad was always prepared good old boy scout me dad hopefully one of those is already charged oh look here he's got some mints no he hasn't they're not mints paul they're like paracetamol he's got some tape because you know every photographer at some point in his life needs some tape running repairs oh christ so i've come through customs all the way from the uk with a multi-tool i don't know how legal that is obviously i got away with it what's this historic houses mrs margaret taylor member and mr michael taylor expires march 2024 unfortunately dad expired in june 2024 so uh, yeah i'll keep them for historic reasons this is the original lens hood you'll take the outer ring off there put this one on there i wonder if you put that on there no you don't i don't know how that works can't figure that out yet we'll come back to that one but uh, yeah i'll take that off for now oh christ paul that is your lot dad cheers mate okay let's just see if we've got enough battery power in one of these batteries to allow me to get out for a quick photograph the dead one try this baby oh life how much power have we got in that 100 percent oh come on try another one. Oh, and again dad he's uh, he's looked after me as the boy two out of six so far fully charged that one's looking uh, defunct so it's two all try this one life 100 percent three two to the living see if it's a resounding four two victory or will it be a three all draw come on i'm plumping for a victory and we have 95 percent four working batteries two need charging now let's just have a look make sure there's an sd card in yes there is now i wonder if there's any photographs on here I'm a little bit reluctant to try this because <laughs> from previous experience, I logged onto an old video that dad gave me years and years ago. It's something that no son should ever see uh, his mum and dad participating in. But anyway, let's just have a look, see what we've got here. Let's hit play, see if there's anything on. Nothing. I'll format the card anyway. Tools, user setup, format, here we go. 
These X100s all have a very similar menu system, so you know one, you virtually know the rest of them. So my dad's got it set on automatic ISO. I like to set my ISO manually. I'll set this ISO 200, lock that in place. So on the side here, we've got a little queue, and you press that and it enters the film simulation mode. Dad's got it on Provia standard, that's fine. This is a beautiful piece of kit, incredibly well looked after by dad. God only knows, I'm probably going to drop the thing, aren't I? Oh, there's a little, look here, a little wrist strap. So my loose plan is, with this beautiful kit, that's going to annoy me, that one. Uh, I might just take that little strap off. I'm just checking the focus as well. Dad's got it set on continuous, so I'm going to switch it down to single, because uh, I'm not photographing anything that's moving. I'm going to take that off, that is, gonna, that is really going to annoy me. It's got a flippy screen, look. I completely, completely forgot about that. That is going to make photographing from low angles so much easier even from kind of high angles as well actually that is a great little bonus dad's done me proud here cheers dad if you're up there watching or down there fiddling about with the uh, dodgy stuff thanks mate really appreciate it my plan is to give it another hour head out to a little location i've got here mark and take a couple of photographs at blue hour i don't think sunset's going to give us much i'll get there just in case but i don't really think it's going to do much we're definitely going to stay into blue hour and get a beautiful blue hour shot over this little location and i think i think it's going to make a nice photograph i can't wait to try this camera i really really can't wait i might need to set the dial up to actually because uh, dad's eyes are a little bit different to mine no oh, i'm very different actually now ah uh, mate honestly this camera this camera is going to get loved okay let's head out this is Ati arangi the celestial star compass i'm setting the camera up on a tripod that dad gave me it's a manfrotto b3 gt i've got a mate that i used to work with he's over in australia now and uh, his name is gt so uh, it's not yours bug it off settings wise i'm iso 200 f8 and i'm getting around about six and a half seconds but what i'm going to do is just wait a little bit longer let it get a bit darker let blow out really kick in just get that out of your face we've just got a little bit of color towards the back of me there so i've just changed positions a little bit I'm just going to try a shot from this side. There's just a, a smidge of red in the sky there. I'm just shooting one now at 26 seconds. It's just finished cooking. Let's have a look. I don't know if you can see that, but let me tell you, that looks gorgeous. So I'm just brewing another shot now at 27 seconds, f7.1. And like I said, there's just that little bit of colour behind my head there. That is the lights of the city, Hastings, reflecting off the clouds there. And it just gives a little bit of a glow to the right-hand side of the image. And I think it looks quite nice. Let me know what you think. Your golden hours, you've got your sunrises, you've got your sunsets. Love them all. But my favourite time, without a shadow of a doubt, is this blow hour. I absolutely love it. It gives a more artistic feel to the photographs. The long exposure gives a little bit of movement in the clouds. Not too much movement today because uh, there's not much wind to carry the clouds about. It just makes for a more painterly scene in my humble opinion. I might even just go around with a torch and just kind of light it up a little bit. So basically the light painting idea didn't go well. To be honest I forgot to set the video recording anyway so that was a bit of a bit of a bad start. And then like an absolute muppet I'd only taken the little head torch which to be fair gives about as much light as my little sparkly eyes do so uh, not much a bit of a waste of time really that so what i did i kind of ended up just walking around and just doing a few little light trail shots nowhere near enough to make the photograph anything like dynamic but yeah you know what can i say but the absolute upshot of this video is wow what a camera the fujifilm x100v is so thanks so much for that dad you've really done me proud really appreciate it mate wherever you are i'm sure you're in a, a bit of a better place than we are at the moment it's raining the world's gone mad insanity all around us what can i say for anybody that's not shot blue hour before give it a go honestly it's awesome it's fantastic just get to a little location 25 minutes half an hour after sunset you're in you probably won't be able to see it with your own eyes but as soon as it starts dropping onto the sensor there man it stands out so so well what an artistic way to make photographs like subscribe hit the notification bell for some reason i don't know i don't know if it works does it even work does anybody listen to this sort of stuff <laughs> i doubt it anyway all the best see you next time